All right, so it will be a Richter, of course, versus we talked about yes. earlier. It will be Richter versus Shulk. Really, really tough matchup in my eyes on paper, just because the way that the neutral works for a character like Shulk, having access to speed art in the neutral and jump art will give him that movement yeah. he can have to get around T3's projectiles. T3 is going to have to work extra hard when those Monado arts are activated. Right. And let alone the fact that shield art, when used, will be able to actually break him away from those confirms that you would normally That's see. That's true, yeah. So one of the greatest things about Richter is that you kind of play the waiting game, and when you get the right hit, you you do a little bit of burst damage, like exactly. 40, 50%, and usually you net some stage control. But against a character like Shulk, you get that initial hit, and they're just like, oh, I'm good, and they, yeah. and they just shield it, and you're back to neutral. Exactly. So, so Dom is going to have to win, like, eight more you know, neutral interactions than he normally would mm -hmm. with those projectiles. Which is still possible, especially if you're unfamiliar with the patterns and the rhythms of, of Richter and Simon in general. The one thing that Dom does that I have not seen, and I know we're hot off the heels of 1 to 3, but we saw a very, very good, forgive me out there, but a very, very good Richter mean over there in that, I believe it was... Mm, I don't want to no, – Nox Ferrado, I think, who, who he was. I got no clue, man. But that was an excellent good victory. But the one thing I do like about T3 is that he does look to also use his projectiles to cover yeah. his angles too as well. Right. He'll use it to either break out of a combo, start a combo, or give his opponent something to do while he's trying to come back on the stage. So we'll see how things go, man. Uh, of course, this is going to be the first time I've seen this matchup between these two characters. Yeah, I have not seen this matchup either. But hey, man, we'll take it as it comes. Uh, of course, uh, Unsolved Ninja coming up against T3. This will be good for both players. Uh, yep. Good wins for both players, honestly, especially for T3, who is trying to make a legacy for himself. Usually in a matchup like this where one character is very, very zone-based and the other character is, you know, Shulk isn't necessarily doesn't want to be right in your face, but he does have, like, a space that he wants to operate in. Yeah. Usually in a matchup like this, first stock matters a lot. Because exactly. when you take that lead uh, and you force the other player completely out of the play style that they're supposed to be playing mm -hmm. with their character, you get you get a big advantage. So. And it's hard, to, it's hard to win when you're stuck to play your opponent's game. Yeah, exactly. All right. Like, oh, go ahead. <laughs> that was excellent now to shield on. You can see how TP looks yeah. to see those options. Oh my god. You can get those confirms. Wow. He, that, that is a dead. No, he's yeah, living. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> if he did not have jump art, though, he was he was gone. You know what's funny? This is a classic character we used to see back in the day, man. Yeah, you it know is. I, mean? I know how to commentate this one. <laughs> I know what's going on with this guy. <laughs> good enough for me. I do know how to commentate Richter, so it's good for T3 to actually be out here. It sets up the holy water, and he wants to make sure Civil Ninja is sitting oh. pretty at that ledge. Twice. For that confirm. Yeah, twice Ninja got uh, got hit with the. Uh, take this. Know the names. <laughs> yes, the take this. But anyway, he, he neutral get up into the fire twice. If he does it a third time, yeah, he's, he's gonna have to figure out a different way to get off the ledge. But so this is what I mean. So now, uh, Uncivil Ninja has to approach so hard in order to to just even get uh, Dom away from stage control and away from center. And uh, you already see him kind of like coming in with bears and back airs. Dom was able to punish one with the up the shield. Oh, so that, yeah. I respect that because he thought that Uncivil was going to execute that up a little bit early. But yeah. Dom should have been looking at, all right, cool. He's that low. Let me get back on the stage already. That up is probably so potent in this matchup, too. Just being able to cover the wide swing of mm -hmm. Richter as he recovers and uh, able to cover the, the low recovery as well. So up the uh, off stage, like reversals, are probably going to be a big way that Uncivil Ninja takes the stocks. Yeah, 94 here on Uncivil Ninja T3 doing excellent for himself, having this big lead still. And I like that. He's always using that whip to make sure that Uncivil has to approach very cautiously. He is holding center so well, too. Dom is in this Pokeball, and he does not leave this Pokeball unless he really feels like he needs to or to chuck a projectile. And then he's right back in it. <laughs> Uppy, nice. Excellent confirming right into that upper, knowing how Uncivil is going to be, but you know how that shield art works. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. Uh, normally, Dom might even be able to net that into a stock. And mm -hmm. uh, in that situation, you just kind of have to back off, take the damage you're given, and move on. You just can't let that really frustrate you. Like, you have to understand that you're playing against a character that you just simply have to hit more than normal in yeah. order to steal on stocks. So this is a really big moment for Uncivil Ninja. He's really close to uh, being able to kind of steal the second stock away and take a lead. And that's what he's looking for, but I like that T3 is constantly covering that sense out the cross there. I now, don't know is, how you. Rough. This yeah, is rough. I was yeah. gonna say, how do you get up? And the only way he actually got up was that Dom messed up and he threw the bottle off the stage. Nice, Dom still holding center stage oh. as best as possible. Finally. Big opportunity. Nice, excellent there. Dom is off the stage. That forward air swing will not yeah. connect. Unfortunately, just a little late, and it is gonna cost him the stock. He kind of bet it all there, and now Dom 
if he can get back to center stage, can go back to playing his game. This is a big smash art, though. Oh, that's yeah, it. that's rough. That's rough, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my, oh my God. God. He went out there for no reason, and he died. He had so much control. He had no Yeah, yeah he had no reason to be out there. Oh, that was the saddest foot school he, he, I have seen in this game. <laughs> if I were Dom, I'd be happy. He's probably he is happy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All day is Richter. Cash in on the bank in a situation where Shulk just swings fair and you have nothing to do when you have to deep end? He didn't even need a swing. He could stay <laughs> on the stage, dude. <laughs> he could stay, he could stay on the stage and taunted. We'd still be in this. That was a really, really anticlimactic way for that game to but end. But that goes to show how important it is to hold the stage, right? Yeah, Understanding exactly. center stage control and yeah. times where you don't have to be as aggressive. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. in a perfectly reasonable spot there. There's no reason. Yeah. I don't even think Dom had a jump, so there's no reason that you really need to, to fly out there. If you're like me in the huge... Oh, I guess he did have a jump, sorry. If you're bad. like me and you love Star Wars that much, you just know that once you have the high ground, you win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's it. Don't go out there, but we'll see if Unsolved Ninja learns from his, his mistakes because you know what? Dom is going to be coming in with a point victory when we talk about this. Best of three territory. Can you imagine if that's how Star Wars ended? He's like, I have the high ground, and he jumps, and then <laughs> Obi-Wan just footstools him into the lava, lava, and he just dies. What a change of <laughs> what, yeah. what a universe that would be. Epic. Ooh, there it is again. So far, two for two on the uh, uppies off stage to uh, try to edge guard. Hey, there's the correct fair. Oh, oh my gosh. Good. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. No, All right, we're good, I we're respect good. T3 being aggressive there, too. Goes for the nair because he knows how yeah. uncivil Ninja is already off the stage that way. Yeah, that's one thing about Dom that I have noticed. If someone whiffs their edge guard against him, he will just drop down and nair you. And mm -hmm. that's not something that you really expect Richter to do. You expect Richter to want to get back to the stage and away from the ledge because his, his uh, off stage recovery isn't the strongest in the game. But um, Oh, he's caught in it. No, 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 no. no. Not yet, not yet. A little bit higher percent was needed in order for that up smash to connect, I guess. Oh, good for Uncivil Ninja to actually connect that one on the edge of the back air. T3 saved that jump for the right opportunity yeah. like so, and he's able to make the recovery. Nice. Oh Almost connected that angle forward air. That was a frame trap. He could do anything. He neutral air dodged, and uh, Dom was still able to get the, the hit off once he landed on the ground. And I talked about it. Dom is so eloquent with how he uses those projectiles to cover yeah. his options. And it goes to show, man, the MVP of for Dom in terms of projectiles, it's going to be that cross. Dude. <laughs> Uncivil Ninja was on the stage, and Dom was completely in a blast zone. Uncivil Ninja did not push up. Yeah, he, did, he, no, he yeah, literally yeah. just stood there. He, didn't he respected try. him. Yeah, he didn't do anything. He's like, all right, no. I saw and you hop off my head last game. Dom should be awarded for saving those jumps. Because yeah. he, sees, he sees Uncivil Ninja and how he'll be aggressive off the stage. Save those jumps for that right opportunity, especially against a character like Shulk. He is really struggling to get off the ledge versus Dom. Finally being able to use jump art to uh, kind of just hop to the other side of the stage. Now we're just back at neutral. Nice oh, good for here. Dom to go for that tech. Very important. Had Civil Ninja gone on that nair, that would have been a nair train off the stage. Wow, what an axe to throw. Again, he's forced to air dodge through the fire, so he gets hit with the forward tilt. Oh, down tilt from Dom. Looking to try to get center stage, but also burst in onto and Civil Ninja. Sends up that cross. That's good because it catches Civil Ninja yeah, at that point. That was a beautiful catch by Dom. And again, just unable to deal with the fire at the ledge. Oh, that was sick. That was a sick way to deal with it. Oh, That was almost a huge reversal for Uncivil Ninja. But unfortunately, just off stage again in the same situation, just on the right it, side now. I like that. Dom sees how Civil Ninja is trying to clear the landing. He goes back to center stage because he knows what's yeah. important to hold here. We're going to get that forwarder. He does when it's angled. Shield art that is going to cause one more. One or two more neutral exchanges yeah. here. Dom is playing this so calm and collected. Oh, oh nice, nice, nice. Oh, never yeah. mind. Calm and collected gets you killed sometimes. <laughs> sometimes you don't expect them to just hop in with an air down air. And, uh, you know, not too far behind, though. You know, forward tilt, forward smash right here. We'll probably end this stock. Oh. Oh, Dom's going to watch himself right on the platform. Oh. Oh. What a, yeah, what a trade in spaces, too. Dom able to get the comeback on that stock, at least. Yeah. Pretty uh, unfortunate reversal there for Uncivil Ninja, no, but it doesn't good. look like he's affecting him too much. No, he's good, he's good, he's good. Saving his jump again. No, Ooh. no roll. So the reason why he probably went for roll in that situation was trying to anticipate Civil Ninja overextending again with yeah. a forward air or yeah. an aerial that way. So he knows, I get the center stage for free that way. If he just comes in with a fair, right. say less. I'll do that. He has been fairing a lot at mm -hmm. ledge, too. Uncivil Ninja, nice little fist bump there. Pumped about himself. Game three, game three. I will tell you right now, I do have the SoCal bias for T3 Dom, but man, for Uncivil Ninja coming in with that one point, dude. Now he's putting it at game three. It's good to see. You don't want to see a wash of that. You never want to see a wash.
we'll see what stage choice here. Town and City was good too, especially just because that T3 has a little bit more space to move around yeah. Shulk. And you don't want to be in tight spaces against Shulk. Shulk will definitely... You have to think about Shulk's sword almost like a semi-full screen. And it's, then it's a, that's a big swing, I'm telling you right now. PS2 will be our final stage for the set. Oh my god. Shorter? Yeah. It's so difficult for Shulk to get off the ledge versus this. And it sucks too because the way that T3 has um, right under that platform, yeah, that yeah. spacing that he's looking for when Civil Ninja finally commits. It also makes it really hard for uh, Uncivil Ninja to just jump and try to land with an aerial while he's like, you know, yeah. if you catch him throwing out a projectile. Yeah, just he basically turtles under the platform while throwing projectiles every other direction. So. Exactly. And if Ninja comes in with an aerial, T3 will go for that whiff punish. He has the range to do so. This is brutal for Uncivil Ninja trying to get off the ledge. And even when he finally does, Dom is able to throw up the shield and up B in order to punish him and just put him right back to the ledge. That almost killed. Oh! oh. He knew exactly where he was going to be, but he just angled it incorrectly, I think. All right. Uncivil at 180, man. This is just one interaction from yeah. Smash Art to just change the things with that forward. Wow. I like that. He forces him to come up with that get-up option. He knows I can't roll that time. I cannot jump that time. He tries to get up normally, and unfortunately, TP will be for the catch. Imagine taking 180 damage oh. on ledge, finally getting off the ledge and getting your shield up, and he just runs up and kills you with a grab. <laughs> that just that just feels mean. But that was so earned from Dom. Yeah, he, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely earned. Yeah. He, he conditioned him so hard to believe, all I'm going to do is throw projectiles in your face. And the second that uh, Uncivil Dungeon finally had a chance to breathe, he was too scared to push a button, had to hold shield, and Dom was able to secure the stock very easily. Yeah, and so. Dom, speaking of securing stocks for Dom here, he is saving that jump. He knows he's getting yeah. he knows he's getting aerial so much. That jump is important to save. Good to go for the directional air dodge. That is a back air. And nearly missed yeah. by that shield art. Once again, normally that would net him quite a bit more percent or maybe a little bit more stage control with an offstage exchange again. But being able to just throw up shield art and get out of jail free. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate for Uncivil Ninja. He was in jump art, so the second hit of mm -hmm. Upbeat didn't connect. He that's good for Dom, too. The way he tossed that cross also try to cover that as well. Yeah. Okay, getting the normal one now. Okay, Dom on the normal getup. I like that. Tries to clear in with down tilt, but Ninja is not going to give him that one opportunity. Finally. Really, really beautiful fair there from Uncivil Ninja. And uh, just needs to get out of the corner. He kind of... He really can't hold stage control against Dom. Uh, Dom has done an excellent job just staying in the center the entire game. Yeah. Uh, it really feels like Uncivil Ninja, even when he's in an arc, he's running from the left side to the right side, and Dom <laughs> is always the one in the center. Yeah, and I think that's what Dom understands. He is basically the lion tamer. Yeah. He knows where to keep this lion exactly. tamer. Exactly, yeah, that's a really good way to put it. This is definitely animal cruelty, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> this lion needs to get this, out yeah, of this, this lion bit. needs to be out of the cage this for a is, while. This is so inhumane. <laughs> okay. Civil Ninja finally with a second to breathe here. And a little bit of stage control, a little bit of momentum. And it's gone. <laughs> Okay, Uncivil, one stock left here. T3 is just having the trifecta of constantly having every projectile out. Yeah. Ninja cannot get in here, but finally there is the axe. T3 is holding this down. This is so hard to watch. <laughs> Shulk physically cannot get through no, he this can, wall. Yeah. It's so hard. Finally using shield art to uh, kind of bully his way into center stage. You want to know what's, what I tell people what has Shulk as a clear weakness? He's the only sword character who has to constantly sheathe in his sword. So yeah. every aerial takes time. Yeah. And a ninja, unfortunately, cannot afford that time. He finally has that time to actually come back in. But he still has to respect Dom. A little bit of the run back here. Neutral dash attack for ninja to finally get in there. Smash art. He's got to play it back there, and he will finally do it as he catches Dom slipping for that grab. This is going to be such a hard comeback, though. First, you have to get in. Then you have to never get hit by a projectile, never get sent off stage at this point. Now you have to get through the fire that's been your bane of your existence for this entire set. This is a hard comeback to make here for Uncivil Ninja. Dom has played this so uh, yeah. well, and a very well-earned win for him. He'll take it 2-1. That was good conditioning. Yeah. He had conditioned this man to respect the wall getup, jump getup, normal getup, all of the getups except for that one time that Ninja said, let me hold the ledge. Dom said, you know what, you're playing into my game. He was letting Uncivil Ninja hold ledge as long as he wanted for the entire game, too. And yeah. that was the first time that he really said, no, I'm good. I'm going to whip you <laughs> off the ledge now, too. Yeah. PETA would be miserable watching that set he for that would, line. Yeah, he, would, he would. Oh, my God.
All right, you got your win. You got your SoCal dub. Yeah, and I'm happy to see it, man. SoCal on the... Okay, okay, so the, the opponent that's coming next on stream is currently using the facilities in the time being. But yeah, SoCal, man, it is good. To, this is what I've been wanting to see for the past year. I know all the eyes are usually on East Coast, man. But well, sometimes West Coast has got to get those W's, man. And now yeah. that we're seeing the East Coast come to our territory, Absolutely. we're able to get these W's. Hey, I seem to remember a bunch of people saying that SoCal crowds are really boring. No, I see the SoCal crowd, and there's nothing less than short of excited and ecstatic to see yeah, everybody this, uh, out here. This local, everyone seems to be going crazy no, this, this is uh, what's, You know what's <laughs> crazy confused. about this? Every MSM is a regional to yeah. the fact that this one is now a major. Yeah, this is a major. That's absurd. On a Monday. And 2GG really deserves it. 2GG oh, we, has we, been in the thick of it since the very beginning. Yeah. So, I mean. As somebody who has hosted MSM Online yeah. for the course of over 60 MSM Online, <laughs> I can not begin to tell you how happy I am to see everybody here. Ladies and gentlemen, and I am seeing Ketchup get another win over the East Coast Ketchup, the Bowser, Bowser Jr., baby. And oh wow. God. I love the tweet. I think it was Charlie that was like, please put all the out-of-staters <laughs> against, like, <laughs> against our Olimars, our Bowser Juniors, our Me Gunners, Gunners. And, Leo. and it's it's working. It's, 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 it's working. working. It's working. They're getting knocked out. What happened, everybody? Let, the, let them see what we have to struggle with every week. What a beautiful tournament. What a beautiful tournament indeed. But we're going to be getting our next two players coming up on the stream as soon as possible, guys. If you guys are joining us, my name is Vance. Of course, joined next to me is a legacy commentator, Pokemon training card game player, <laughs> Sean Pluto. Well, you didn't lie, but. <laughs> I'm right. I'm right. I do play. Are you excited for the 25th anniversary? Uh, you know what? I am. That is probably the most thing I'm excited about, 25th anniversary. I'm, I'm super excited. I'm I'm going to host an animation like tribute to Pokemon this year, towards the end of the year. So I'm really excited. What I, What's What's your favorite Pokemon game? I mean, game? I, I, yeah. Silver and gold and crystal. Okay. Yeah. A man of culture. That is probably the best Pokemon game in my opinion. Yellow was my first one. So, I mean, I've been playing since, you know, I I'm, never, I'm way too old. See, but. I never played Gen 1. I only played Gen 1 through Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. And it wasn't until I finally got my first Pokemon game in Gen 2. Yeah. Honestly, though, I've liked pretty much every game except Black and White, which is a which is not a good opinion to have, apparently. But dude, there's a. I okay, will shake your hand again. A, there's I a, will shake your right, hand right, again. I agree with you. I agree a, with you. There's a gym in Pokemon.